Pro tip, do not, under any circumstances, put soup in a kettle and then forget about it. I think everything, almost everything, is covered in its brothy wrath. What's up guys, Freeman here, welcome back to another video. So, um, I'm currently on break and I decided to use my time wisely as I have far more energy now than I did last year. Um, now, I found that this, a lot of this was because of different diet changes and stuff like that. I'm also starting a juice fast in a few days, but instead of sitting and putting my head on, um, putting my head on the desk because I need to do something, I'm going to start doing these like vlogs because I thought to myself, I'm here anyway and I've got time to burn and I need to do more vlogs anyway and I need to be more open and talk, so here we go. I am sick and tired of retail. I am sick and tired of working in retail. Now, as many of you, or some of you may know, I am working in a retail job in a very prominent health and supplement company. And um, I'm in a management position, and I'm in a flexible contract. Now, that's all well and good, but just retail itself is soul destroying. It is something that, in order to progress up the ranks, and I've noticed this as well, if you ever want to progress up in the ranks in retail, you need a certain level of neurosis. I found that when I was working in the central London stores and you have the big bosses and stuff, they have some sort of mental pathology. Either it's OCD, or it's borderline personality, or it's heavy narcissism. And I don't fault them for that, because I tell you, nothing is, no one is more organized than a manager with OCD. <laughs> this is up in um, central London, my old manager. She had OCD. And the thing is, is that the store was so big, that she needed it. Like, literally, it was the one time I've ever seen someone with OCD and it actually benefited them. Yeah, um, you have to become soulless. And you'll notice this as well if you look at the whole retail world, is that especially in the upper executive people, they make decisions that negatively impact sometimes thousands of people. You need a certain level of disconnectedness to be able to do that. It's the same thing in retail. You have to, people, when you break away from face-to-face -face, um, interactions, people cease to become people and they start becoming numbers. They start becoming numbers on a page. Oh, this number employee affected this amount of money and because of employee number this, 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 and this, we've lost thousands of pounds, more numbers, and so disciplinary and this, that, and the other, and it drives me insane. It's, I, I, I could, if I wanted to, be promoted up the ranks, but honestly, I value my time and I value myself. I value my time and I value my soul. And if anyone here is working in retail and you don't have a good excuse for it, like for example, you're you're getting on in age and you just want to spend, you just want to earn earn some extra money on the weekend when you're not doing anything, or you're young and you're um, just come out of school and you're just about to do a gap year and stuff like that, and you think to yourself, okay, let's let let's take a part time job, or maybe you just like retail because ultimately it's your job, it's your life. If you just like retail and you're doing it just because you enjoy doing it, by all means. But I think personally, it's a waste of time and it's a waste of opportunity and it's a waste of potential as well because retail. Uh, especially if you don't get promoted, like for example, you, you've been working the same job for like five, ten years, you, you, have, you haven't got promotion. I mean, that's your life, but there's so much more that we can do. And you find that many, many people get stuck in that because they're just, they don't understand just what their potential is, or maybe they've never been, never been given the opportunity to really realize their full potential. Or maybe when they try to realize their full potential, maybe when they were younger, something happened to them, so they couldn't, so now they carry around this neurosis that maybe they're not, they're not, they don't deserve that sort of potential. On and on and on the reasons are, but ultimately, it's soul destroying. It's soul destroying. And not a day goes by now where I'm not thinking I could be doing a million and one different things. And I personally think that, I mean, I've got a few funny stories to tell you about, about, about retail as well. And I'll obviously emit names and companies because blah, 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 blah. Um, um, like, I've got, I forgot what, what I was going to say. But on that note, all of these vlogs, I will call them, because um, I'm, oh, what's it? Um, midday rap, midday musings. I'll, 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 I'll call these midday musings. They're totally uncut. No editing, no music, no anything. Just me uploading and then sending it straight to my YouTube channel, and then I'll probably tag it when I when I when I get home later. But still, what was I going to say? So yeah, if you are in retail and you're not using it as a part-time job as to sort of fill, and you're stuck there for a long for a long period of time, get out. 
like literally get up. Not a day goes by that I do not think to myself, I could be doing a million and one different things. And that was it. I think it's because I'm a guy, um, because people usually think that, well, if, if you didn't know, and I have mentioned this before, uh, women have this clock, internal clock, whereby if they don't have children by a certain date, uh, they start to get, quote unquote, well, quite erratic, let's just say, because the, the baby clock is ticking, the eggs are drying up. I personally believe that men also have the same thing, whereby once they reach their proper maturity, and I'm not talking about women, because women reach their sexual maturity around about 22, 23, men, quite honestly, in our society, reach their full maturity at about 35. And I mean, it's probably changed. If you really look at it biologically, you could probably say about 26, 27, but like when you're 35, that is when you have experienced enough of life where you've had enough time to build a career and a community. You are at your peak sexual market value as well. That is your sexual maturity. Now, I'm nowhere near that, but I'm reaching my 30s. And I think men have a clock whereby if they, if they aren't doing something that they really feel is really, really great for them, they start to get, which is exactly what I feel like every single day. I'm thinking I want to be doing YouTube full time. I, I want to be doing my other online ventures full time. I want to put all my effort into that. I, I like. I'm thinking like, like the amount of time I'm earning now, even if it's like a decent amount per hour. If you look at it as how much, how much time and effort that you could put into your life, it's not worth it. Like if I was to be an honest judge of my time, and if you were to take it into the future, my time is worth like ten times more than than what I'm doing right now. But again, you have to look at it differently because I think I heard a very, really, really interesting quote is that Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, Bill Gates at one point was earning like two thousand pounds every. Oh, what was it? It was some insane thing. Like every second, he earned like six hundred, seven hundred dollars, or maybe it was a thousand. I can't remember. Like every second, that was Bill Gates at his peak. Now that's how much he was valued per hour. Now back when he was back create creating Microsoft, how much was his time worth? It's a trick question because the real answer is it's exactly the same thing. It's still worth six hundred dollars a second because it led up to him then learning six hundred dollars a second. It was just as valuable, if not more valuable. In fact, no, his time when he was making Microsoft was far more valuable than the time when he was in Microsoft because that laid the groundwork. Just like now, you know, the time that you have now is more valuable than than than, than the money you will earn in the future because the time that the because the time that you have now is responsible for all of the great things that will come in the future as well. So, funny stories about retail, and one of the reasons why I, I can't stand it is that people don't want to work. Because when you work in a health and supplement company, people want to come in and say, give me a pill to get rid of this problem, this pain, this, 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 whatever it is. And I, I'll be honest, 90% of people come in here for weight loss. They're coming in for weight loss. Uh, about 70% coming here for weight loss. It's literally that the top things that people are complaining about these days, digestive issues, gut pain, weight loss, and hair issues. That's the four things that people always come in for. And the one thing I cannot stand more than anything is the people that come in and they just want a pill. Give me a pill, give me a pill, give me a pill. Give me a pill to change this, give me a pill to change that. And you try and talk to them about diet and lifestyle. What happens? Oh, I don't want to change that. It's like this one lady, I was, she was buying this really crappy, um, half the products we have are absolute BS, which is why I can't do it. Because a lot of them are just scams. It's like 0.01% supplement. And then like the rest is like soy. It's like, fucking. anyway, the, 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 this lady came in and uh, she was talking about um, weight loss and she bought this really, trying to buy this really crappy thing. And I was trying to talk to her about, about diet and lifestyle and how she changed it. And she just looked, looked me right in the eye and said, nah, I don't want to do that. And I was like, okay, like, all right, all right. Inside I was seething, but I was like, all right, fine. Cause people don't want to change. People, they just want a pill. Give me a pill, give me a pill, give me a pill. And then when you try and talk to them about, about diet and lifestyle, whoop, you're gone in one ear and out the other. They don't care. Why? Because it involves change. Now, some people do listen and uh, some people do have, do actually respond and some people do get better. I love it when people listen and they take my advice and they come back and say, yeah, that it really helped. Um, that's really great. No one's ever come in and said, the only time people take my advice, when I say advice, like literally I'm like, I, I am the health guru in a, in like, in like a health shop. Like literally I like, it's, it's kind of strange. Cause when I first came here, I assumed that people would be, would know about health, but everyone smokes, drinks and eats McDonald's and I can't really complain. It's only like literally like, this has been the first time I've gone for more than a month without nicotine and that, and it's been a while since I've had a drink, probably about, you know, November. So I can understand, but I always thought that they'd be a little bit more healthy. Anyway, um, the next funny story, because I'm going off on a tangent, I forgot what I was saying. 
Iodine messes with my short-term memory. I'm, I'm detoxing, but I had like five drops of iodine this morning. Um, another funny story is that um, in, in one occasion, um, I like, that's, that, that's another thing why retail is difficult. People are stupid. Like people, you really see like IQ gaps. <laughs> like, like, cause, and you have to be nice, but there are some people you can't tell if they're stupid or they're just, just bad people. Like case in point, there was this one time, man. There was a massive queue. It must have been about must have been about seven, eight people. Queue, massive queue. And this lady just walked in, picked something up, walked right in front of the queue, and put it down on the till in front of me. And I just looked at it, looked at it, looked at her, and said, "Excuse me." Like I was just like, "What?" It's like, "What are you doing?" And there's a queue, and it's like, and she got ultra offended. Like saying, oh, what do you think? I'm stupid. Like, what? You, you, you're trying to make me sound stupid. It's like, do, do, do you think I look stupid? And the funniest part, this was the golden, the golden nugget of the whole day. The moment she said, do you think that I look stupid? I just saw nine, no, ten heads plus my college just look at me in unison. Just say, say it. Say it. Say it. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was just dying to say yes. You are a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, that would have really sealed my doom. That would have sealed my doom. It was hilarious because it was just that you could tell like the suspense. And I honestly, I was actually cracking up because I was like, "This is this is hilarious." Like this person is so messed up, and I was just trying not to laugh. I was failing. I was like, <laughs> "Don't say it! Don't say it!" I was like, "Yes, yeah, say it! Say it! Say it!" <laughs> And, um, and, um, stupid, and, you know, it, it was stupid, you know, and, um, and, you know, it's just, like, silly stuff, like, you have to deal with people, and again, there's, there's nothing wrong with being, I'm not, I'm not mocking on stupid people, I am having a bit of retail, retail rage instead of road rage, because I'm here, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just venting a bit, like, people are people, you know, people are people, and if people are that smart, then people are that smart, people are simply acting the way that they are programmed to be, that's it, you know, that's it, so it's fine if you want to be like that. Just don't, you know. <laughs> but still, um, and uh, one last thing that I will say before I go, and I'll probably get in trouble for showing this. And I tried doing this beforehand, but the camera flipped upside down. So I work in a retail and and. But anyway, but that's all I'm going to say because I realize I've been talking for like 12 minutes. Hopefully it wasn't too much of an incoherent ramble. I will see you all next time. I can be bothered to do these vlogs, which will be tomorrow. I have a video coming out today and tomorrow. I'm starting my juice fast tomorrow. I may be able to get a video out. I'm not sure because I realize my work days have extended through, through the weekend as well. But let's see. Bloom it out and peace.